one of the most amazing things about our universe is that time, as measured from a stationary person, travels slower on, on fast-moving objects or spaceships. So, for example, let's take a spaceship here. And here's our funny looking spaceship. And it's being driven by a young astronaut. And this guy, this astronaut, well, he's got a brother at home, a twin brother. His twin brother's a farmer. Farmers are naturally great observers. And so this guy, the astronaut, well, he goes up in space, fires the exhaust. And now he's moving at a very fast speed. And they are going to compare clocks to see why and if there is a difference. Well, they agree on a very simple clock that consists of two photodiodes, a set distance D apart. And the clock works like this. When the photon hits the top, well that's a tick, tick, and then when the photon bounces off the top and comes back down, that's a talk. So tick, talk. And we know the speed of the photon. Photon, well that's the particle of light. Light always travels at the speed of light. And therefore the time of this clock is simply given by the distance divided by the speed. Well, that's all well and good. Now, for the brother in the spaceship, he's got the exact same clock. Two panels, a distance d apart. And photon is released. But, from the farmer's perspective, by the time that photon has hit the upper panel, this spacecraft has already moved some distance, whoops, has already moved forward a significant distance. Something like this. So here's the top panel by the time the photons hit it. So by the time the photon gets up to the top, the ship has moved forward. So the farmer sees the photon travel this distance, d prime. So the farmer says, Hey man, your clock is taking this long to do its tick tock. So your clock is moving slower. The astronaut, well, the astronaut, let's go into the, the, the astronaut's world. So I'll put astro here and here's his world. Well, he simply sees the photon going up and down. And that's because he's moving with the spaceship with the photon. It's like if you're on a train and you throw a ball up in the air, you see it go up and down. But somebody standing on the platform sees it travel a diagonal distance. So he says, the astronaut says, no, it's same as always. Now, from his perspective, it is the same as always. His heart beats at the same rate. He eats his meals on time. Clock does its tick-tock the same. But from the farmer's perspective, his clock is moving much slower because of the reason I just explained. The photon, from the farmer's perspective, is traveling a farther distance. Time is distance over the speed of light. So each tick and each talk takes longer. Well, at some point, the brother in the spaceship will have to decelerate and come back down to Earth. And he'll basically have to reconcile himself with the stationary reference frame. And when that happens, when he finishes his trip, well, what he'll see is, let's draw him, here's the astronaut he'll see that his brother has aged considerably and now maybe has a big long beard. So, 
what we've done here is we've proven that the clock in the fast-moving spaceship ticks slower. In other words, has time dilation. 